Good morning, my lovely Libras, cross watchers and channel fans. It is Lori, and I'm here to do your uplifting reading all about you. I am going to try to keep this, these readings under 15 minutes, okay? Let me know what you think about that. We're going to see if we can keep these a little shorter. All right. Let's go ahead and see who we are focusing on today. I hope you guys are all happy, healthy, and having some fun in life. If you are new here, welcome, welcome. I hope you find something that resonates and you come back in the future. If you are a returning viewer, you know I love you to pieces. Either way, I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. All right, let's go ahead and see who we are focusing on today. Five of Pentacles, isolated, disconnected, and lacking and lost. I'm hearing that this is the magical quality about you is that you never feel this way. You move past this energy with ease, with um, a sense of being able to put a deep chill on any negative aspects like isolation. Okay, so like if you're feeling lonely or alone, which I don't sense that you feel very often, but I'm getting that this you who I'm focusing on today are in a transitional period. Okay, so you're moving into, you're, you're going through these processes now, trying to attain your end goal. Okay, so maybe this will help some of you. Um, the Five of Pentacles here. If you're feeling alone or lonely, instead of focusing on that and why you don't have what you don't have, okay, you're going to go find something else to do. You do find something else to do. You find a creative process, you go for a walk, you do the dishes, the laundry, you call somebody so that you don't feel alone or lonely. And if you do not have a particular person to call, then you're going to read a book. You're going to do something, journal, because you're going to take yourself out of that energy, okay? This stops the feeling of being left out in the cold or isolated or alone or disconnected or feeling like you don't have the things in your life that you want. I am hearing a lot of you are trying to attain um, success with the law of abundance. Okay, beautiful energy here. You're on your way, and that's exactly what you would want to do in order to move past these this energy here. Okay, and this is the energy that most human beings are in before they find some sort of um, law of attraction, law of abundance, just understanding that we ch we choose to be happy or we choose to be miserable. It's what we focus on that expands. So you know how to shut these things down and focus on what you do want. All right, let's go ahead and look at what you have accomplished in this world. You are great at, <laughs> this is the two of wands. You've got bold ambitions, calculated risks, and careful planning. And I'm hearing you have had many opportunities where you've had to make a decision. And in the past, okay, something that you have accomplished was that you used to get confused whenever you had to make a decision about something. You never felt like you had enough information. But since you've come across um, the law of attraction and the law of abundance, you see that you have, all you had to do is be clear about what you want. Not focusing necessarily on what you don't want, but knowing what you want, having clear intentions, having bold ambitions, dreaming big, all right? And then putting that out there into the universe and saying, I know it's going to happen. It's already done. And while I'm waiting for you to bring that to me, I'm going to go and I'm going to have a great day, okay? And while you're out having fun and doing whatever, like the dishes or vacuuming, <laughs> while dancing while you're doing that, all of a sudden you get inspiration. Okay, there's your, there it is right there. That's your law of abundance coming to you. Okay, beautiful energy here. So now whenever you have a decision to make, you make a decision and you say, I'm going to give it up to the universe. This is what I would like. But if you think that something better is for out there for me, Show me. Show me the way. Okay. Beautiful energy here. All right. Let's see what kind of impact you have on the people around you. You just release. This is the judgment card. You help people to break karmic lessons and put them into useful perspective. Resurrection. Spiritual awakening. Okay. You, you're showing people how to have a spiritual awakening 
by using the laws of abundance, the law of attraction. This is all about what we focus on expands. If you can release the past, let things go and focus on what it is you want from your future and from right now and be happy in the moment and release the past, you've got it. And this is how you're showing people how to do this as you're doing it. You may not be talking about it. Okay, you may not be trying to teach other people because I'll tell you a lot of times it's very difficult to teach other people what this means, what it, it's about. They kind of have to come to it um, in bits and pieces at first. But just watching you, seeing you, hearing you, okay, the change in who you are. They're like, wow, what are you doing? That's when you can talk about it. All right, so let's see what skill or talent you have that we should know about. The Four of Wands, yeah, you know how to celebrate life and manifest everything that you want. Law of attraction, law of abundance. It also says union here too. And I'm hearing union with your higher power, union with people that maybe you were conflicted with in the past. Instead of arguing with people, you're just like letting things go. Not... You're not allowing anyone to harm you, okay, emotionally or anything else, but you're not taking on what somebody says, okay? If 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 somebody says you are ugly, you don't even think about that. You just go, whatever, and you walk away, okay? You've got other things to focus on. Beautiful, and you are crushing your goals here, okay? This is a beautiful skill. You are actively manifesting your desires, what you want out of life. What do you do right now that you should never, ever stop doing? Seeing the positive news, the, the success, the victory, the wins, the beautiful sunsets, the beautiful sunrises, the awesomeness of every single day that you have in front of you, behind you, right in this moment. This is about just enjoying that moment, just go, being in awe and accepting, accepting. When your arms are wide open like that, you're receiving and you're receiving your manifestations. Beautiful energy here. All right, and then we've got the Six of Pentacles. Balance and selflessness, giving and receiving. See, this is about the harmony, the peace. And you've got double sixes here. And sixes are all about waking up to your higher spiritual truth. This is you in this perpetual cycle. Every time that you set an intention and it comes to you, when you release, you have success you can celebrate the victory. You set a new intent. You have that balance, that wholeness. You're receiving and then you're giving. And then you start again. And you say, oh, now I know what else I want to manifest in my life. Okay? Beautiful cyclical energy here. Absolutely love this message for you guys. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Go ahead and claim it in the comments if this is you. Also... Um, go ahead and boop, tickle, tap that like button uh, to show yourself a little support or show some support for whoever this is. Anybody interested in more information about the law of attraction or abundance, I do have some links on my channel page. You just have to scroll all the way to the bottom of my page. All right, there's my um, couple of channels that I actually like to watch. I know... Um, I Heart Aries is actually an all Aries channel, but there's probably uh, cross watchers in here who might be Aries. Um, also, there's Law of Attraction. Um, there's different things on there. You can check those out if you're interested. Your spirit animal today is 43, which I kept saying was going to come out over the last two days. Here it is. Whoop, there it is. Whoop, my own A's. My daughter will appreciate that. Um, 43, Owl Spirit, you see clearly now. You see how you can have this abundance, this manifestation. Look, 42, 43, you're, you're in alignment. You are lined up perfectly. 42, Otter Spirit, you are never alone. Balance, harmony. You are not isolated, disconnected, or lacking, uh, or anything else in the negative. We have antelope spirit. Life is speeding up. Absolutely. Two and two. Okay. And twos are about being in alignment. You're in the right place at the right time now. You are manifesting those dreams. And look, we have 53 seahorse spirit. Watch and wait. 
I had to say 43, 53. Okay, and then we have double twos here. We have double threes here. Interesting numbers. Two, 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 two here. I mean, double sixes, two, three, four, five. I mean, incredible. And we got double threes on the bottom of the deck. Horse, spirit, freedom is yours. Absolutely. All right. Um, we understand that you are never alone. You're understanding that. There's something about watch and wait, and you see clearly now. So let's see uh, what the watch and wait says first, just what spirit wants. Are you holding on to judgment? Ooh, right next to the judgment card. Okay, are you holding on to judgment? Positive that your perspective is the only correct way to look at things. Oh, yeah, sometimes people think there's only one way to um, manifest the law of attraction and law of abundance, so be careful. There are as many perspectives as there are creatures in the sea, and when seahorse spirit appears to you, you are being reminded to detach from the experiences that you have so that you can view it from more than one angle. See it from somebody else's perspective. Okay. Pay attention to your hidden beliefs and how they affect the way you think, feel, and act. Are you being fair to everyone involved or do you need to take a step back? Perhaps the drama that you have been drawn into might be of your own making. Whatever the actions of other people are, your challenge is to be non-reactive and not take their words or behaviors personally. I said you don't do that anymore, but see, you're still transitioning. You're still learning about this. You're having your successes. You just need to keep keep repeating these successes. Okay, so don't take their words or behavior behaviors personally. Their drama may have little to do with you at all. So remain neutral until you know the facts, okay? And don't worry about the facts. Let it be. Don't worry about it. Your perspective me might be quite different in time, okay? So let's see what 43. This is something upcoming for you, both of these messages. That's why Spirit wants to give it to you. 43 went right past it. All right, so we have you see clearly now. Are you feeling overwhelmed and overpowered by everything that you are sensing? Are you feeling highly sensitive right now and maybe in information overload? Feeling too much and taking in too much stimulation? The antidote for overwhelm is to be grounded and to return to your safe place so that wisdom can offer you clarity and guide you on managing the flow. Okay, yep, this is all about your work with the manifestations. So take a break to ground yourself in the reality of your everyday senses. So too much excitement. Go for a walk in nature maybe. Perhaps you can even stop to lay on the ground or hug a tree or just stroll down the street beneath the soothing sky so that you can regroup and clear your energy field. Your wisdom and ability to make sense of everything that you are feeling and experiencing will return as Owl Spirit reminds you of your need to just get clear and be calm, okay? That's how you're going to find your freedom. All right. I am going to roll the number die for three yes or no answers. One through five is a no answer. Six through 12 is a yes answer. All right, let's see what we've got today. If you have a question, your first yes or no answer is yes, and you are in complete alignment. You are headed right down the right path. Answer number two is a yes, but that's a weak yes. There's going to be something that needs to change, and then you'll put a burden down, but yes. Okay, answer number three is a yes. R looks really good. You are definitely heading in the right direction. Okay, things will work out for you. Take those answers any way you want, or don't take them at all. It's up to you. Any okay, don't forget, tick tickle tap boop the like button drop a comment if this is you are you working on the law of abundance check out my uh description box below every video for more information also subscribe to our awesome community we would love to have you join us okay so subscribe to the channel till our energies cross again i'm wishing you much peace love and happiness Bye bye